here. Welcome everyone. Caleb and I are here at Silver Dollar City. They're just about to open the park. It's one of my favorite theme parks ever, not counting Disney World. But there's a few reasons why you may not want to come here. I love everything about this park, but I'm going to give you five reasons why you might not want to come. So here's the five worst reasons about coming to Silver Dollar City. One of the main reasons why you may not want to come is the price. It is extremely expensive to visit Silver Dollar City, a day ticket usually ranging from in the $60 to $70 range and even more during special events. I always recommend getting a season pass if you're going to come more than once, but it is very difficult to find discounts to the park unless you want to come for multiple days. There's usually a multiple day where you get a second day free, but if you're just coming for one day, be prepared to pay. This is not your average Six Flags or regional theme park. All right, one of the worst parts about Silver Dollar City is the layout. You can tell when they first made this park, it wasn't meant to be a theme park. So they just kept adding on and adding on and adding on. And there are just trails that go to nowhere. There's a trail that goes to Outlaw Run, to Grand Exposition, Fireman's Landing, and they just dead end. So the layout of this park is very hard to follow. There's so many twists and turns. Even when you look at a map, you're like, where am I? So keep that in mind. Study the park map ahead in advance, but it's still very, very tough to follow sometimes. So park layout. Come to a dead end here by Outlaw Run. Got to walk all the way back. I don't know why you can't circle around to Fireman's Landing, but you got to walk all the way back around. All right, another reason why you might not want to come to Silver Dollar City is the music. All you hear all day long is twangy country western. I like it. Mm. It's part of the ambiance here, but if you do not like this kind of music, it might drive you crazy all day because all you hear is fiddles and banjos. Sometimes dueling banjos. Sometimes banjos with a little kid by a river in Georgia. But just keep that in mind if you come. The music. Also, one of the bad things about coming to Silver Dollar City is it closes early most of the year. It closes at 6 or 7, except for a week or two in late July where they open to like midnight. But for most of the year, it closes really early, so you don't really feel like you get your day's worth sometimes. They do have like a country show, but a lot of people aren't into that. Um, so keep that in mind if you come here. Get here early. And the worst part of visiting Silver Dollar City are the hills. Oh my gosh, yeah. This right now, I think is called Hill Street. And it'll give you the blues because it goes down and you do a lot of walking up and down in this park. So yeah. if you're not ready for that, be prepared. I still love it, but that's the worst part of coming to Silver Dollar City. You're in the hills. Caleb, where are you? I've lost you. I don't know if I'm going to make it up this hill. Uh, hill Street. So there you have it. The five worst things about coming to Silver Dollar City. As I said before, Silver Dollar City is an amazing park. Amazing rides, amazing atmosphere, amazing theming. So we're just nitpicking here. But with that being said, may the adventure continue. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah.